and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Braum legendary run here on the Lab of Legends. As y'all know, we're recording one for each one of the, the 20 champions they have available. So far, we've gotten these five and Swain as individual legendary runs. Let's head on over to Braum now. That's going to be our next uh, champion that we are going to go with. Um, so this is our starting uh, deck for Braum. We're going to have 18 cards in it. What the the power? There's lots of different powers you can choose. I re, evolution's a really powerful power, and that's the one that we're going to choose for uh, Braum today. Mostly, like basically all the epics are pretty good, but evolution is one that we haven't used with any of the other champions so far, and I think it could work really well with Braum. Because so basically, Braum starts with having Challenger and Regen. Evolution says that all of your allies have plus one, plus one for each keyword they have. So that's two keywords. So Braum will be a two, seven immediately. Now, whenever we go throughout the run, we're going to have a lot of different powers or sorry, sorry, a lot of different keywords thrown on all sorts of different cards. And so all those cards are going to be getting the plus one, plus one. I think that's going to be really good. So that's what we're going to do to start with. Right now, only Alpha Wild Claw is the only other unit in our deck with a keyword. We're going to get some more with some different keywords. So here we go, Braum Legendary. Let's use Evolution. Today will be exciting day. And let's go ahead and uh, have an exciting day, as Braum says. All right, we're gonna send everything back. I guess we could keep Scar thing. Wait, wait, wait. We're playing against spiders. Wait, actually, the avalanches are, are real good here. Never mind. We're gonna keep the avalanches against the spiders. So I just noticed we have the Bilgewater board because of the the new Saltwater Scourge Lab of Legends. And I just noticed that that we've been using that the whole time. It's just the Bilgewater board is awesome. Right at um Bilgewater board music's awesome, but I just realized that we've been using that the whole time. So after this, I'll switch it up and go to the Freljord board so we can have our own board for each champion. Okay, I want to play Avalanche this round. Ah. But when they play another Spiderling. Okay, so we get three Spiderlings there. Okay, that thing's a 3-2 Fearsome. I couldn't play Omen Hawk or Scarthane Stefan to block it, so gotta go with the Ice Field Archer. Now let's go with the bull. Hmm. That's fine. All right, just looking for our Braum and also Alpha Wild Claw. Those are the two cards that we're looking for the most. So that, that looks like a pretty good avalanche. I'm one short from a take heart attack lethal. We'll take what we need to survive. I'm just gonna play this other stuff and attack with all this other stuff too. Oh no. Um that's not as good. I guess I should have just attacked for 14. Braum, where are you? Where are you, Braum? 
This attack should be able to kill them. So they're going to block this Carthane staff in with a 12 power. And the rest should be able to do the job. There we go. Alright, so it only took one damage. Even without having Braum. Not bad, not bad. Who's our secondary champion Today going to will be? be exciting day. <laughs> Sorry, there's the the voice bug on there. I'm kind of thinking Renekton. So Renekton's going to have Overwhelm, so it'll be a 5-5. Five five. Let's see. I guess the Crimson Disciple... Because... Mm, Alright, so Braum and Bull Elnuk both already cost 4 mana. Yeah, I guess we could go Vladimir. Everybody knows... Yeah, Vladimir, Braum... We could just go that route of just making a Vlad Braum deck. Have Crimson Disciple, Crimson Awakener. There's not much keyword going on over here, but plays pretty good defense. And, you know, Vladimir Braum. Today will be exciting day. All right, we'll go Vladimir Braum. Yeah, I was thinking Renekton with getting more pluses for keywords could be pretty sweet. Where is Braum? Oh, all I want is my Braum. I guess it's smart that we're gonna draw Braum after playing the Omen Honk. That's smart. That now Braum will be the top card. Oh, so close. That's an egg. So close. Where are you? All right. Scarthane Stefan, not bad. We'll take what we need to survive. We'll make quick work of you. We're gonna have to get through all of these hapless aristocrats. Eventually, anyway. Each each one of these attacks helps my Vladimir level up. Yes! We found Braum. Yeah. Yeah. 2-7 Braum. Oh, and they'll make 4-4 four, four Mighty Poros. The Mighty Poros have Overwhelm, so they get plus one, plus one. Awesome. Alright, so that levels up Vladimir. And now, by, by playing the Crimson Awakener, I had three extra mana for the take heart on the Braum. If I played Vladimir, I didn't have the three extra mana for the take heart. We are a true Braum deck. Oh, I forgot to change the board. <laughs> I was just talking about that. All right. I think I'm all, we're almost done with this game, so I should remember to change the board now. Stand behind this one's mine. All right, Scarthane Stefan dies. That's all right. I guess I could have had Scarthane Stefan block the seven one, but I wanted Brom to level up. All right, here we go. Open attack. Who would dance? Heal our Nexus for three. It's still lethal. It's all good. But we only heal our Nexus for two now. All right, with 27 at Thrash. Should be fine. Feeling good about our experiment so far. Feeling good. It's all good, Nasher. Have a good day at work. Today will be exciting day. Minus one cost. 
on the Braum. Make Braum a three mana card. That's what I'm talking about. The plus four plus four is really enticing, but I don't want a six mana Braum. The pickaxe is also enticing, but I, let's get the minus one cost. It's already a two seven. So the pickaxe would make it a four seven. So we can either have a four mana four seven or yeah, no, we're we're just gonna take this. Today plus one will cost. be exciting day. Renekton? I can just have Renekton? Sweet. Today will be exciting day. Take some take some champions. Alright, board. Freljord for Braum. Braum board. Hey Agent Iowa. We're knocking out some legendary lab modes with the different champions. I want to have one with each champion. That's what we got going on today. We have so far, we did Lissandra, then Swain, and now we're on Braum. And then the plan for the next one is Riven. Cool. We can curve out. So, certainly considering not even playing the Crimson Disciple. Come, the journey ahead is long. I take three, but our our life total is about to reset. Uh, that thing, okay. Because I wanted to take heart, Braum. That's what I wanted to do. Good. So Renekton's a 5-5, five five, remember, not a 4-4. Four four with our evolution power. We don't have any way to challenge. So it's it's just a four mana 5-5 five five overwhelm right now. That can change. Well that's all it is for now. I'm hoping this means they don't have another ephemeral. Good, so they don't get to get the sharks back. Vladimir! Bye, Nash. Have a good day at work. Hello, my darling. I have no need for this. So I guess I need to do that first. Show me your best. All right, so they're at two. Almost dead. Get a mighty Poro. Yeah. That's the mightiest Poro. We're not playing Braum to let Thresh kill my Poros. We're not letting Thresh kill my Poros. But Vladimir can kill the Poro. <laughs> but that'll drain two. And that'll be game. Alright. Three down. Six to go. First level complete. First three stages complete. And we get a new power. It's always exciting. See what our new power is going to be. Today will be exciting day. Ah, uh, these are not good. Emperor's Dias is whatever. Fl Blade's Edge, whatever. The spells cost one less. That's really not that good. All right, reroll. 
Today will be exciting day. Oh, Yip's genius is so good, but we only have Omen Hawk as our only one cost unit right now. Um, when allies attack nab one, or when you cast a slow spell, yeah, yeah. I mean, Yip's genius is a ridiculous power. I kind of want to take it. It's either that or re-roll again. Like, I'm not I'm not taking these things. I guess it's re-roll again. All right, one more re-roll. Today will be exciting day. When you target an ally with a single target spell, copy it. Bleh. Round star, draw one, give a fleeting. Man, these are not good. Allies have attack, raise my health to match my power. But our units have higher health than power to begin with. That only helps the Ice Veil Archer. Wow, these are not good. Today will be exciting day. All right, round start rally. Today will be exciting day. I think we understand that, Brom. <laughs> Very nice is powerful. I'm gonna do gifts from beyond, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Buried in Ice is really powerful. See the very nicer gifts from beyond. Gifts from beyond. I'm thinking like like the different moon weapons. We can get like the life steal moon weapon, the overwhelm moon weapon, uh, those kind of things. They they would add the plus one plus one also with our evolution. Um, but buried in ice can can really help out against like super big, like Victor, basically basically just Victor. Let's do gifts from beyond. Today we'll the will get be life. exciting. We're gonna make some large units anyway. We can give them life steal. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep Hawk and Disciple. Look for Braum. Wait till after our Omen Hawk for the Braum. So it gets another plus one, plus one. start. Don't love that we had to use all of our rerolls. Well, at least we got a big Alpha Wild Claw. Delish. At least there's that. What have Poros done to you? Little ones. So we got Round Star Rally. We might as well take some, take some good use out of this rally. Makes sense. Wild Claw next round. So I feel pretty good about only taking two damage. I guess the thing is, is they can have, they're gonna have Wild Claw here. Okay, there's Take Harding. That's great. Wait, no, that's not great. Because then they get they get to overwhelm over here. Alright, down to 22. Pledge to Sejuani service. There's a scent in the air. Unfortunately, that thing has the barrier. Otherwise, that would have worked out really well for me. A true 
Fragorian welcome. Time for talking. Have you met my shield? Save the homestead. <laughs> what has a Poro done to you? Yeah, we've definitely gotten killed by Poros a few times, especially those daring Poros. Those daring Poros will get you. Please play something else. Oh. Sorry, Brom. So we're down to 20 after the Hunters. The Hunters have been pretty strong during our runs today. Ground Star Rally should really help us win some of these games, though. All right, let's see what else we got. Today will be exciting day. Twin shadows, a house spider, or get this radiant guardian with two extra health. I mean, radiant radiant guardian seems pretty important. All right, we're gonna take radiant guardian. Today will be exciting day. Take hearts could cost one mana. Crimson disciple costs one mana. I like the cost reduction on both of those. Um, I kind of want to take the take hearts. Plus three, plus three. I think I want to take take hearts. Yeah, let's do the take hearts. Today will be exciting day. That'll help out with our Braum. All the champions. To be honest, all these champions are actually probably pretty good here. All right, there's the smaller units aren't as valuable as we talked about because you can't really attack in through O threes like you can't attack with a one one or a two 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 or anything like that. We, we do take the two damage. Always take that. But now we'll have. Enough for the take heart, which unfortunately it's Brom's take heart. It still costs three. It doesn't get the bonus as the other take heart does. Um. Yes, yeah, so they always have the elixir of iron. I think that was going to happen. I do like the like Renekton with the Renekton's champion spell will help you know Renekton challenge something. And that will help. Where I go, carnage follows. My shield is my your We need 12 damage for this Renekton for it to level up. I was thinking that I don't really want the Renekton to, um, to trade with the 2 2, but maybe I should just let that. Maybe I should just have him trade. No. And just passing to me. You passing to me? No, no ha, this is fun, yes? 
Alright, this will be level up Renekton. We're he healing our Nexus a little bit more. So we could have had this could have had Renekton on the other side and heal our Nexus with that. Alright, got all of our champions leveled up. And we got a bunch of Mighty Poros. So looking good. They kill one Mighty Poro and we get a new one. Attacking. This one's mine. Strength through suffering. All right, let's heal our Nexus. All oh, right, that's just gonna grow anyway. Alright, so we're at 24 heading into Sedgewani. Good healthy life total. Very good. Very good, very good. Today will be exciting day! That pup heard that today will be an exciting day. <laughs> You're running around. All right, so we have no rerolls left. Catalyst of Aeons, double Catalyst, so heal six and two mana gems. That's hard to pass up, to be honest. Timewinder can do some damage and then redraw a card. That's kind of cool. I like this Catalyst, though, but I don't know what we're... I don't really know exactly what we're ramping into, but it's just heal six, get two mana gems. We don't really have, like, card draw. We're not really... Yeah, it's, it's basically just for, like, the healing. Um, maybe it's the Time Winder. Get two different deal one and then draw a card. I'm sure we have to discard a card, but... We already got some pretty good healing. We got Radiant Guardian. We got Gifts from Beyond making Lifesteal Moon Weapon. Maybe it's just the Time Winder. Today will be exciting day. When cast, cast me again. So Elixir of Iron gets doubled. Ice Fill Archer into a 5-1. We're not hitting very good reinforcements, but unfortunately we are I already used all of my rerolls. I'm just gonna have double Elixir of Iron. I suppose. Today will be exciting day. I don't need Wow Claw Nab. I want to give my units, especially my champions, I want to give them more keywords, right? Like that's what I that's what I want. It's one thing's having more keywords. Oh, this is a good hand. Yeah, exactly. The Time Winder can just discard some some useless cards, like some Elnux or Star Scarthane Stefan or, you know, things like that that we just don't really need at all. So this is Sejuani. This is our second boss. Our life total will reset after this. Oh, yeah. Welcome gifts would be the best possible power. That's welcome gifts is where you get a random... You, you continually get a random power. A random keyword. Wow. Alright, so Braum's at 7. As far as leveling up is concerned. I need to get rid of this weirding stones. Need to 
get rid of that pretty soon. Alright, Savalanche will get rid of all their stuff. Except for the Weirding Stones. Cool. Vladimir leveled up. I think I pass priority to them. I think I pass priority to them, have them play something else for me to challenge. It was right on my tail. Mm. Alright, perfect. So now Mighty Core dies. We get big Radiant Guardian. It's a 7-10 Radiant Guardian? <laughs> That's right, because the tough and the lifesteal gets the plus 2 plus 2 because of the evolution. Oh man, that's a big Radiant Guardian. Now that Ember Maiden just uh, had itself die. Alright, we'll pass here. Oh no, you're supposed to challenge! I wanted them to challenge, I was going to play the new Radiant Guardian. Alright, I'm pretty excited about what our next power is going to be. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Brahms a 3-8. Have you met my shield? Go with Sejuani. They're coming! Hi! Alright, so we're back to 30. Cool. And there we go. Alright. We're... Two thirds of the way through. Now we just got to get through Pill to Over and Zon. Last level, three more stages. We've been doing real good with the Legendary Lab today. These are aren't always easy, but then again, I'm I'm out of re rolls. Come on, good power, good power. Today will be exciting day. Oh, we did not get a good power. Summon a random landmark from your deck. Well, there are none. The spell your spells cost one less. I mean, I guess we could do that. Yeah, that, I mean, that would make Take Heart cost zero, Elixir of Iron cost zero, Gifts from Beyond cost zero, and then two less. Yeah, I guess we could just do that. Because, like, start with an Emperor's Dias. I mean, I do have Round Start Rally, so I am attacking a lot. So that is like, just like a Sand Soldier that's attacking a lot. But that Sand Soldier is not that important. Let's go with Spells cost one less. Today will be exciting day. Oh, man. The only keyword for Braum is regen, but Braum already has regen. Alright, do we want two cost Braum or Braum have plus two plus zero? I kind of feel like two cost Braum. So right now Braum's a two seven. We can have a three mana four seven or a two mana two seven. I think two mana two seven. Today will be exciting day. Alright, two cost Braum. <laughs> so now if we get the power that's like plus four plus four but cost two more. And that's not that big a deal, because then Braum goes back to costing four mana so no, plus four plus four. <laughs> Alright, set them all back. No, let's keep Avalanche. I don't know, their things get bigger than Avalanche though. Yes, there's Braum. Alright, good. We got Braum, and then take heart, and then another take heart with this Braum. And round start rally.
They've had a very slow start. Yeah, they've had a very slow start for them. Alright, Von Yip's out of here. It's not broken, just needs a little love. This is just gonna be the craziest Braum. <laughs> oh, this is the craziest Braum. So we can give Braum overwhelm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, do I even... I, this my sword. I guess you run into a spot like where it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I could take heart the Mighty Poro. Oh, that thing's a 5-2. I should have challenged the 5-2. That would have leveled up wrong. I miss that. Here, we'll just keep you alive with this. I plan on playing the Bull Elnuk. Or we'll do this. Because I guess eventually we'll just make Braum so big that. Overwhelm Braum. Like, just kind of kills him in one shot. Yeah, I think Vladimir's leveled up. I think Braum has survived damage enough times <laughs> for, for Vladimir to be leveled up immediately on round five. Basically, are we going to want to Overwhelm Braum or Lifesteal Braum? Because they can't possibly win. I guess we don't need to Lifesteal because our, our Vladimir is just going to take over. Also, for like healing our Nexus. Yeah. Because they, like, they're just going to run out of cards. Oh, slow speed. It's not like they're going to interact <laughs> and like have pills over and on cards kill my Braum anyway. Yeah, the, the thing that, yeah, the moon weapon that puts the two mana card from your deck into play only does followers. It doesn't do champions, so that would be awesome, but no, we can't get Braum with that. Man, Braum took a ton of damage there, and it only has 16 health left. This is why Braum's like my favorite champion. Just so ridiculous. doing killing my four rows. Okay, our deck's looking strong. Our deck is looking really strong. Braum should be able to play good enough defense against the turrets to be able to kill them. Um, hopefully, you know, and mill them out. 
before they kill us. And then we'll have Vladimir after that. Yeah, Crescendum. So Crescendum only gets the followers. Today will be exciting day. I guess gifts from beyond draw a card. Omen Hawk with Fury. It is good to have more Omen Hawks, but the Fury obviously doesn't matter. Ooh, no, because the Fury it gets the plus one plus one. Okay, so then it'll be a two two Omen Hawk with Fury. Okay. But Gifts from Beyond gets us that extra card draw. Let's do the Omen Hawks with Fury. Today will be exciting. Day. Omen Hawks are good. So it'll be two twos of Fury. I like it. They'll buff up other stuff. So I went to play Omen Hawk round one. Very good. We got Omen Hawk. Let's mulligan looking for Braum, of course. It's the only card I would keep. Without having a Braum, the only card I'll keep would be Omen Hawk. What's up, Mordecai? Dude, the Swain run ended up really good. It w we did some crazy stuff with Swain and LeBlanc. We had like a 9-6 challenger LeBlanc. We had Swain that put in another Swain whenever... Get the two cost follower. Saves me five live. All right. Wish we had Braum. This would look a lot better if we had Braum. I guess it doesn't save me five live. So I'm thinking, like, Avalanche away the rest of this board. Yeah. Got to do some crazy stuff with, um... Wow, they're willing to trade that? Got to do some crazy stuff with, with Swain LeBlanc, for sure, the last few rounds. It was pretty awesome. See, I don't know if I'm supposed to be avalanching this, because... We may actually die. You know, like, it's just the difference of having Braum or not having Braum. Like, if we had Braum, we played Braum last round, like, this is an easy win. Like, always. With Braum. So we're gonna go down to 10. Ooh, they didn't just attack right away. So I got plus one, plus one from the Omen Hawk. I was like, why is it a 3-8, not a 2-7, right? The Omen Hawk. Oh, come on. Block the... Block the Mighty Poro. What are you doing? Brothers born from Happy to do whatever's needed. Of course, I want them to block so I get the Radiant Guardian play. Radiant Guardian gets the extra plus one plus ones. With our evolution power. Alright, well this is one that I gotta kill. I don't I don't want to kill too much of their stuff, but that's one I gotta kill. Um, can I, I guess I should be healing my Nexus. Good, good. Good. I'm glad they're not blocking with like six X's. All right. Well, that round worked out well for me. All right. They got eight cards left, so they got quite a bit of cards left. Oh, that thing is overwhelmed. All right, you're blocking there. Oh, 
Yep, we're just gonna control the board, win with mill. Have Brom take over. We're back up to 25, that's good. Uh, they're all 7, 5. Quick attack overwhelm. Fearsome. We need one of our take hearts. Alright, Time Winder, discard the Crimson Awakener. Let's do one damage to a couple of those things. Good. Down to three cards. Gifts from Beyond. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Let's go Lifesteal. Lifesteal's only 7 4. Could honestly just go Gravitum. Let me just go Gravitum. Yeah. Just done the 8-8. Eight, eight. Then it'll sit there. Think about what's done. I don't know why I don't just like send in another like 4-4 four, four, since I'm just gonna get a new 4-4 four, four anyway. I gotta hope they don't kill Braum. They fear tomorrow, the fools. The fools. Drink up. Whew. Okay, they can have one more attack. We have to survive one more attack. Kill this seven power quick attack overwhelm. Alright, so six power quick attack overwhelm. That didn't help as much as I was hoping. That should put me to 30. Yes. Perfect. So we can go to Victor with full health. All right, Victor at full health. Don't worry. I've read all about this. All right, let's mulligan and find Braum. Cool, you want to come hang out, Renekton? Go ahead. <laughs> the like, I'm going to play all my stuff. All right, we're on to the final, final boss. Victor time. I think whenever they started these labs, maybe you didn't lose with Mill, and so you actually had to kill them, and they kept on making 8-8s forever, I think. That that sounds right. Today will be exciting day. So I'm not taking the Elnuk. We either take Renekton, Last Breath Rally, or Omenhawk Barrier. I'm going to take Omenhawk Barrier. That's going to make Omenhawk's three threes. 
We already rally a lot. We don't really need Renekton last. We don't really need last breath rally. Today will be exciting. I take a fourth Omen Honk. This will be a, a three three Fury barrier to start with. Yeah, so you couldn't mill out yourself. The phone's gonna mill either when it was first released. Now that's just the best way to handle that uh, last match that we were just in. All right, we need to find Braum. Radiant Guardian is almost a key, but we need Braum. Yes, yes. Oh, this is such a good hand. They're blocking. Yeah, they're blocking. Okay. We may hit a new a new bigger brawl. Like that's the thing, is like we may hit a bigger brawl with all these Roman Hawks. Try to keep up. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Omen Hawk, Omen Hawk. And basically just see do we draw a new brawl. All right, no new Braum. We got a Renekton. We may even have a gift for Renekton. Which I guess that's the, the 3 plus 3 plus 3s. That would be our gift for Renekton. Oh, there's the big Braum. This will halfway level up Renekton. Halfway there. Dude, our deck is sweet. No, not the Hawk. You shall pay for that. Uh, this Renekton's a little big. We got some more gifts for Renekton. 18 Renekton. <laughs> Renekton's just 18 power by itself. <laughs> and there we go. Experiment succeeded. That was Braum. I could just play these all day. They're so much fun. Today will be exciting day. That was exciting day. We had the uh, round star rally, which is awesome. So yeah, triple omen hawk, brom like two mana brom, two mana two seven brom. Oh, that's just like my dream, two mana two seven brom. And then you have zero mana take hearts, right? Because we had the also the, the spells cost one less, and it already cost two less. So we had zero mana take heart to go along with a a two mana two seven brom. <laughs> that's, that's just awesome. All right, so there we go. That's Braum. That's a legendary lab run with Braum. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed this one because I sure did. Yeah, let me know. Let me know which what's what are your favorite champions. What are your different uh, you know powers that you like to start? If you got different powers that you like to start with Braum, you know feel free to leave them in the comment section for other viewers later on for them to see as well. All right, but that's going to be it here for this Legendary Lab run. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.